have no idea if this will work or not. In theory, it should work, but I'm not sure if it will. Moving forward. Hello, there we go. Did you know that the Bible mentions the word bird 49 times and the word fowl 85 times? And it mentions 25 different <laughs> kinds of birds specifically by name. Now, I don't have that many varieties of birds, but the numbers of birds that we have here on our farmstead are increasing. We have pasture raised egg laying chickens. We have a number of variety of ducks. Delaware broilers, black Cornish broilers. We also have geese and guineas, chicks, not yet pullets for eggs and meat, and oh yeah, turkeys that I recently kicked out of the brooder. These turkeys are ready to come out of here. Look at them. They're definitely ready to graduate from this brooder. Not ready to go outside yet, but moving from this brooder to the bigger brooder here. But before we move the turkeys into this brooder, we gotta get these chickens out of here. All right, let's do this. Bring Creed over, guys. Whoa! Look at them. The chicken dinners and some egg layers. You don't say your chicken dinners right in front of the chicken dinners if you don't die. All right, start handing them over. Okay. Yeah, hey, there you go. Micah. What? Sit up. Open. Yeah. Up. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Come on out. Yep, come on out. Come on. Get out. Come on. Get out. Come on. Get out. New home. Let's have a nice landing. Woo! Woo! All right. Turkey time. Let's get some new shavings and things in here. Warm. Start jumping and doing crazy stuff. All right, that's one. Okay. Like right, you're up here. Oh, got it. Hezekiah did get a little bit fussy on that one, but we got it done. And those chicks are loving being outside on these warm June North Carolina days. However, something did happen to them that reminded me of last year when I lost a bunch of chickens that we just moved outside. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to this. Less clamor side of homestead. So the other night, we were sitting down together as a family watching a movie when all of a sudden it just started pouring down rain. And I couldn't help but to think of those chicks that we just moved outside, and especially thinking about last year. But I was like, you know what? They're they're covered. And the chicken tractor is on higher ground, so there's no risk of flooding happening. 
But you know what? I better go outside and check on them. And I'm glad that I did because when we got out there, I saw the chicks. They were at the front of the tractor that was not covered, just all soaked and wet. So Josiah and I moved them to the back of the tractor and he started using a hair dryer to dry them off and warm them up. Keep doing what you're doing. I gotta go get another carabiner. I almost got a set up for the light to come off. Okay. And it was taking a while to dry them off, so I was like, let's also add a heat lamp to help them out. Part of just not being done. I'm still not done with this lot. Yeah, that's good. If they're moving around, that's fine. This light's going to make them think it's light again, and they're going to start moving around and warming up themselves. So I think that's good. Good job. I bet your legs and back are burning. You all right, man? Uh, thank you for doing that. Right, Josiah had been squatting down for a while, so I bet that really was burning his legs. And actually, I wasn't feeling that great that night. And you might have noticed I was doing some sniffling in that video. Well, neither one of us really felt like being out there doing that. But we had to do it. But since then, those birds are doing just fine. All of them made it through. We didn't lose not one, thankfully. And overall, out of all the animals that you could raise on a farm or homestead, chickens are the easiest for sure. As long as they don't get wet and cold. They can be wet or they can be cold, but when they're wet and cold at the same time, that's not good for chickens, especially little ones. But again, I think chickens are the easiest livestock to raise. And I think that Egg-laying chickens are even easier than meat birds. And our easiest of easy chickens to raise are our composting egg-laying chickens and our pastured raised egg layers. And for our composting chickens, we don't move them on a regular basis, but we do provide them with fresh bedding, mulch, wood chips, things like that, so they can just scratch around, move that around, and that keeps their area sanitary. Now we do feed them a layer mix and also give them fresh grass clippings and food scraps and things like that. And in return, they give us eggs and they make compost that we can use in the garden. Now these are chickens that, well, I could say they graduate to this area once they have reached a certain age. You can call them our senior citizen chickens, but they do a good job and there's not a lot of work involved with them. They are easy. However, I did make a mistake with our compost and chickens. And speaking of mistakes, if anybody would like for me to do a video on just common mistakes that people make raising chickens, let me know in the comment section below. I'm thinking about doing a video like that because I've made a lot of mistakes over my 10 years or so raising chickens and I've learned a lot. And speaking of that, I did make a mistake not too long ago with our compost and chickens that this past winter I fixed. For the most part, I've used Premier One fencing here on our farmstead. However, there was this one occasion where I bought this fence right here, this netting right here. And it just has not lasted long at all. It just breaks all over the place here and it's getting now. Just look at that. So what are we doing? We're going back to our old faithful, replacing this netting with some Premier One netting. The trusty ones. <laughs> to keep the chickens from running all over the place, you first set up the Premier One netting outside the existing fence that we're getting ready to get rid of. Heard it on in, 
Lisa. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that one's in. Yep, that one's in too. Good job, fellas. Yeah, they were getting out right there, just walking right through there. This netting right here we've had for years. In fact, I actually got this netting from another farmer who had it for years. And the spacing on it is a little bit further away than they make them now. So what we'll do with the old netting is, since the net part is gone, I'm just gonna trash it. But the poles, we can reuse those. Let's pop this off here. Pull out. And in addition to our composting chickens, our pastured raised egg layers are really easy to raise as well. All I have to do is make sure they have feed, water each day, gather their eggs, and then move them occasionally in their chick shawl, which provides them with a shelter. But it's super easy to move them. And, I, and my chick shawl is based off Justin Rhodes' design. And speaking of that, I also have some older chicks that aren't quite pullets yet that are almost ready to be moved out into the pasture as well. So I plan to build for them Justin Rhodes' Chick Shawl 5.0 here really, really soon. So looking forward to that build. Always trying to make little improvements here and there. It's no matter how far along you've, you are, always strive to grow and improve. And speaking of that, even though I said that the egg layers are easy, the broilers are really not that difficult to raise at all, especially on, on a small scale like we do here. And for my broilers, I have my own chicken tractor that I like to use. Justin Rhodes has his, which is great, and Joe Salton has his, which is bigger on a bigger scale. I My, my chicken tractors that I use, they're not Justin Rhodes, they're not Joel Salton's. It's kind of like the two of them combined to be what I need them to be for me and my context. And as you go through your own journey, you'll do that. You'll figure out what works for you and customize things to, to fit your needs and, and the things that you want. But recently I was thinking, hmm, I want to change one little thing about my chicken tractor. So I have no idea if this will work or not. In theory, it should work. I'm not sure if it will, we'll just, we'll just see. So for the past couple years, for my broilers and my chicken tractors, I've been using hanging waterers, and I've been using these waterers as well. But you can see, it's gotten really yucky. And I'm having to change the water like multiple times a day. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna change the water multiple times a day. So this idea I have, hoping I can just totally do away with that. Because the idea is based off the concept that I've seen from Joel Salton on his chicken tractors. And he has the water bucket on top and it feeds it to a water down inside the chicken tractor. So we got this king size fountain here that I hope to connect to this bucket inside the tractor. But there are chickens in here right now. So I am going to have to get in here with the chickens in here and connect this stuff. So that's gonna be fun. Well, before I do so, I'm gonna go ahead and move it so I'm not in poop anywhere. So move it forward. Hello, there we go. Oh, it stepped on that one. Very good. There we go. Come on, red jazz. Every day, red jazz. All right, so I'm gonna start with that. And we are going to need real. All right, guys, I'm coming in. Don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. Yeah, I'm coming in. This is Joy. Hey, All right, hey, guys. So, thinking this has to be installed here. So that way, the hose, I'm going to run it here. Up. So that puts my water about right there. And up somewhere like that. Hey there. Hey. Hey. It's alright. Alright. Screw in. And here we go. 
Yeah. Alright, let's disconnect this here because this is actually two pieces. Got the fount. And this is actually a mount that keeps this. You can actually install this without it and it just hangs, but this will actually keep it more secure. Get it from running all over the place. We'll be going around. More stable. Yeah, let's go. Come on, man. Uh, oh, this is so awkward. Alright, somewhere in there. Alright, I gotta get up right more. This tiny little spot. Try and get out. Yeah. Actually, we don't need that part in there either. Right here. Right here. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, Micah, will you hand me the black hose? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, hand it from the top. Right from the top. There you go. Thanks. All right. Just hanging out with the chickens today. Just a normal day in the neighborhood. Really. <laughs> Not this normal. This isn't quite that normal. <laughs> to be in here this close. All right, next piece. Uh, This goes here. This goes here. And here. Just like that. Uh, Alright, so then we'll just run this along the top. Right up to our bucket. Right up here. Alright, well, let's get out of here to do that part. Perfect tool for this job, but it should work out. That's what we got available with battery power. You're right. Yeah, looks like that's a worse tool than I thought it was going to be. So let's do something else. Oh, this one better. Yep. Just a little bit more time. Let it get a little bit more of what we're looking for. Cut here. Alright, All right, so we'll put that right through there, but I don't like these edges here. They can puncture the hose that we have here, and we don't want that. So, do you have any suggestions?
Yep. Maybe you should just pour like the whole thing. Let's see. It's coming through. Ah, get it back tight. Back tight. All right. It's working. Not long enough for one zip tie, but two. Do it. I got the, the door. So I like this chicken tractor design. Then wrap that around there. Yep, and then stick the zip tie piece through. I'm about to bring this down. Through here. Just like. So, I don't know if that'll be ultimately what I go forward with long term, but right now it's working out great. I also know that you can go with the suspended waterers like Joel Salatin and other uses for their broilers, but a lot of those were just out of stock here recently. I was like, oh, let's try this. Because I was thinking, overall the goal is to make things easier <laughs> as I'm doing the chores and different things to take care of the animals. To make the easiest animal to raise even easier. I encourage you guys, if you're not raising chickens for eggs or meat, start doing so. It's easy. <laughs> Do that. It's like my wings get broken. You have wings, you're like a bird. Dad, guess what? Oh. Minecraft, I was flying with like that? We've won. Oh, they weren't. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, stop. I flew into a tree and hit my head. Terrible. Me too. That's terrible, Kenny.